now design techniques for large fan in now the designer has a number of techniques as his dispositions to reduce the delay of uh, fan in circuits so designers are having many techniques by which they can uh, reduce the propagation delay or uh, fan in uh, uh, delay due to fan in so what all those techniques are first is uh, transistor sizing so increasing the transistor size result in larger par larger parasitic capacitor so what they're trying to say that uh, if you are increasing the size of the transistor okay so uh, it will give you more parasitic uh, capacitance okay which not only affect the propagation delay of the gate but also present a larger load on the of the to the proceeding gates so what they are trying to say is that uh, this uh, propagation delay means uh, if your uh, width is more if your transistor width is more they will uh, give you more capacitance and if more capacitance is there then we know that propagation delay is directly proportional to the resistance and capacitance but also present a larger load on the proceeding gate not only that will uh, increase the propagation delay but also they one more factor they will contribute that is larger load they will increase the load to the next gate proceeding gate okay if the load capacitance is dominated by the intrinsic capacitance of the gate widening the device only creates self loading effect and propagation delay is unaffected so if so what they are trying to say is we have seen the intrinsic capacitance before different type of capacitance uh, that is internal to the transistor so if those are the dominating factor for the overall capacitance then if you are widening the device if are, this means that if you are increasing the width of the device that will create a self loading effect that uh, means to, so you are able to create the self loading capacity uh, loading effect and the propagation delay will not get affected so that is what the, but the, there is a condition only if the intrinsic capacitance is the dominating one now coming to transmission gate so uh, transmission gate uh, uh, transmission gate is uh, simply a combination of uh, pmos and nmos when you join the pmos and nmos in parallel okay so note that neither transistor is connected to vdd or ground okay so here your transistor is neither connected to vdd nor it is connected to ground okay this is the two parallel structures of pmos and nmos means you have uh, connected nmos and pmos in parallel and after that you have connected so whatever is there in the input you will get at the output so you take example suppose you are uh, passing a logic zero from here so we know that mm, nmos is the transistor that will that will pass a strong logic zero to the output so during that time if this nmos transistor is activated so during that time whatever is the input zero you will get uh, zero at the output similarly when you are applying one so we know that pmos is a transistor that will give you a strong value of logic one at the output so during that time this transistor is on and exact one one volt you will get at the output so you can say that this is acting simply like a switch or a buffer okay note that neither transistor is connected to vdd or ground a and a bar are the control signals of uh, control or the transmission of the signal on in and out so a is one control signal when a is one during that time your nmos is uh, switched on and when there a is uh, a bar is uh, zero during that time your pmos transistor is on so transmission gate act like a tri-state buffer you can say that this is a tri-state buffers okay